Hello everyone. I am Professor Chetna Singh, Assistant Professor in Computer Science Information Technology Department of Sagar Institute of Research and Technology, Bhopal. Today we will discuss the vector scan display or we can say a random scan display. What is vector scan display? Whenever you, you or we want to project something on the screen, we used the scan display devices. Basically, vector scan display is used for producing image on the screen. Beam is directed to the area on the screen where picture is to be drawn. You can see this in the figure. Beam is directed to the area on the screen where picture is to be drawn. This is the CRT screen that is called cathode ray tube screen. Display buffer memory. Here you can see the display buffer memory. Display buffer memory stores the display list which contain point and line plotting commands with x, y or we can say 2D coordinates as well as we can plot in a 3D coordinate for character plotting commands. Display controller interprets this command and help beam detection circuit to display. Electron beam writing on cathode ray tube phosphor coating that means here. The phosphor light decay after few milliseconds. So we have to refresh phosphor at least 30 to 60 times per second. That means our refresh rate will be 30 to 60 frames per second for vector or random display. Generally, we use vector or random scan display for higher resolution than rectus scan, uh, scan display. Here you can see. Pro uh, vector scan display produces a smooth line and in vector scan display, it needs less memory to store picture definition. There is a some dis a disadvantages also over for this random scan display that is random scan display cannot draw realistic image and one other limitations on color to be displayed. It can display only maximum four colors and display depends how deep beam penetrates on phosphor screen. Here you can see the cathode ray tube is connected with the display controller and this display controller is connected with keyboard and mouse input devices and IO port with the CPU. And as well as this display control controller is connected with display buffer memory. Then this display buffer memory store the information and this information is projected on, the, on this cathode ray tube. Here we can discuss about the cathode ray tube. We are uh, repeatedly saying the word cathode ray tube. It is basically used for projection a uh, image on the screen. It may be video, animated image or a, a simple image. For the cathode ray tube, we use the heating element and heating element heated this cathode rod and after the heating of cathode rod, electron beam, uh, electron beam is controlled by the control grid and focusing system. Focusing system and horizontal deflection plate as well as vertical deflection plates control the direction of electrons and number of electrons in electron beams and interior metallic coating at high positive voltage also control the projection of electron on the phosphor coating screen. 
the phosphor lights decay after few milliseconds so we have to refresh phosphor and continuously uh, continuously heat this cathode to maintain our projection constantly on the phosphor screen because refro refreshing of phosphor at least 30 to 60 times per second thank you so much